It's happened. It's official. We've seen the first coach sacking of the season this year in the A-League. And it has, unsurprisingly so, come at Western Sydney Wanderers. Carl Robinson has been sacked as head coach. It is big news and it's it's news that, that wasn't expected following last night's game. Western Sydney Wanderers losing 3-0 to, to, to Brisbane Raw, one of the lowest sides in the A-League um, at the moment. Uh, and, 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 and this... It had to happen. It had to happen. There was clearly no road forward for Carl Robinson at this club. It wasn't working. Um, you know, a few weeks ago, they played a game against Melbourne City where things were looking a bit promising. And I thought, maybe they're going to turn things around here. But look, when you look at their record so far, only one win so far in the A-League, getting knocked out of the FFA Cup this season uh, to an MPL side. No disrespect to Apia Leichhardt. I mean, they were fantastic in that game and had a really solid cup run. But Western Sydney Wanderers, they're a club in turmoil. We've heard rumours of off-the-field issues. And hopefully this is the start um, of things turning around for them. Now, I'm sure a lot of Wanderers fans will say, look, they're still this isn't going to solve the issues because because of these behind-the-scenes sort of, you know, the backroom staff, if you like, you know, stuff that's going on behind the scenes. That, that, that's, that's where the problems are spawning from. And, and maybe that is so. Maybe that is the case. But I, I think we have to say that this is a positive move, uh, regardless for the Western Sydney Wanderers. And they have released a, a very, a very short statement on their on their official website. And I'll read it out now. It's it's, it's really short, um, and they just cut straight to the point. Don't uh, don't uh, dive into it too much. They say Western Sydney Wanderers FC have today confirmed the departure of Isuzu Ute A League head coach Carl Robinson effective immediately. This was just released about half an hour ago um, here on Sunday afternoon. Um, they also say the Wanderers would like to thank Carl for his time at the club over the last uh, one and a half seasons and wish him all the best in his future endeavours. The club will shortly make an announcement regarding the head coach position for the rest of the season and that's where the conversation now leads. Who takes over? And look, here's something that we brought up initially when Gary Van Egmond, a coach who has experienced we, he's won an A-League before. He's won an A-League championship before Gary Van Egmond, a former Newcastle Jets coach. He, he was announced as assistant coach just a couple of months ago. and It was a very bizarre decision, I thought, to, to bring in a, an, an, an assistant coach barely a couple of months into a season. So Gary Van Egmond's joined the team. Uh, you know, Labanon Haliti is still there and operating as an assistant coach as well. So does Van Egmond get promoted to, to head coach? And my almost one of my theories, like conspiracies, when he was brought into the team is like, is this a slow phasing out of Carl Robinson? Did they bring Van Egmond in there so he could just prepare him, you know, get him ready for, to, to take over the head role? Did, were the minds of the people in charge at West City Wonders already made? And they knew they were going to sack Carl Robinson because, look, the performances haven't been up to scratch. Considering the squad they have, so many star players, so many players they brought in this season. And, and me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm not a Wanderers fan, but I was really optimistic about their chances this season. Tom Hammond, Dimitri Petraos, Antonis, Jack Rodwell, former Premier League player, Kajira Ogawa, you know, Reese Williams in defence, of course, they've unfortunately lost him for the for the remainder of the season. But such a promising squad with so much quality and they've, good, got, and they've got good youngsters coming through. And they like to, you know, they, they, they believe that they are a big club. And they should be. You know, Western Sydney Wanderers, they came into the A-League a decade ago and, and, and changed the game. They really, really did. And the last five years have, have been abysmal. Have, have been abysmal. And uh, Wanderers fans know that and, and they deserve better. And, it's, and it's, it must be really hard for them, you know, this past year or so where it's, it's, it's just the same thing over and over again. And that's what we hear from Wanderers fans. They get frustrated that there is no progress being made. There is no change being made. Is this, the second of Kyle Robinson, now going to be the catalyst for that change at Western Sydney Wanderers? It's going to be really important that they bring in the right man. You know, I remember people were talking about Alan Stadic. We saw the job that he did at the, Mariners, at the Central Coast Mariners last season. Will he come in after his, uh, after his role with the Philippines women's national team? Potentially. Um, look, I think bringing in Van Egmond and promoting him to head coach wouldn't be the worst decision. I could see that happening. You know, whether he wants that it is another question. So we'd love to get your thoughts down in the comments below. Wanderers fans, non-Wanderers fans, A-League fans, it's a big story. It's uh, it's the first coach sacking so far in the 2021-22 uh, Suzy Ute men's A-League season. So get your thoughts down below. Uh, can Wanderers turn it around from here? Cheers.